G'day, Wimble Train here again. Um, in the comments of one of my previous videos, I had a user by the name of Right Eye Blink ask that I do a video about uh, a wiring diagram or how to wire up your T Track setup. Now, we're going to talk about that today. And what we're going to talk about in front of us, we've got a double loop basic setup with our four straight modules and our four corner modules. So we're going to go through how to wire that up, be it DC or DCC that you're using. So let's get on with it. First, we're going to look at how this is wired up according to the T-Track, well, the Australian T-Track specification document. Now, this is our module, this is our two tracks. Now basically what we need to do is to wire up as follows using these color codes blue and white wires as you can see there and in in the T-Track module they use RCA connectors on the back. I'll show you that in a minute on how I've wired up my actual module so it'll be a bit clearer. So that's bolted to the back of the module and then into that we plug our RCA plugs and they'll run off to our controller whether it be DC or DCC controller. So that's the basic wiring diagram that we're going to use. So here we have our module with our two tracks. Now we're going to run these two wires to each track, a blue wire and a white wire. And you'll notice here the blue wire on the outer track is on the outer and the blue wire on the inner track is on the inner. And then the white wire is there and there. Now they're going to run underneath the module to the back where we'll fit a two-way RCA socket and then we'll wire it up as follows. So the outer track will go to the white RCA socket and the inner track will go to the red. So then from there we get our RCA plugs that will then run off to our controller whether it be DC or DCC. Now one thing to note here is the polarity of these. It, it does and it doesn't matter. Like it does in terms of if you have a DC or even a DCC setup, depending on which way around you put those, is whether the loco will travel forward in that direction or that direction. But what you need to make sure you do is always have the white wires together and the blue wires together. Never put one blue, one white. So as long as you stick to that, you should be right for both DC and DCC. So say, for example, on your DC controller, if you wire it up, say that to positive and that to negative, and you find that the train's running opposite to what your controller says, then just swap those wires over, and then everything will be okay. Now with DCC, it, it also is polarity sensitive, so you have to stick to these rules, as you can see there. All right, so now we'll have a look at how I wired up the module. I've got one here, an example, and the things and the tools that you'll need. So here we have our module. I've already fitted the RCA socket on the back. I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, I'll just show you what I use to connect the Kato Unitrack to the power. And they're these little things here, terminal uni joiner. And you'll need two of these, one for the inner track and one for the outer track. And I'll just open this one up just to show you how they come. I'll tell you what that does in a minute. So that's basically what you get. It's linked cable with the two joiners there, I'll bring that up close, and they just slip on to the end, get in the middle like that, they just click on, 
if you put it on right that is a bit tricky to line up sometimes there we go that sits here like that and the other one on the other one and you're wondering well that's in the way how can I clip that on and that's where this little tool comes in handy so you slip that on probably easier to do this without that one in there but we've already done it so we push that up and out that comes and that'll let us put our second one on there like that then the other end of it they supply with this Kato plug but we won't be using that so we just cut that off and we'll um, terminate that on the back I'll show you that in a second so here I've got my uni joiner cables run already through the module so you just got to make sure when you drill these holes for example this is a single module so it's going to have the 248 here so the holes are sort of just a little bit back from the edge of the track because if you notice with these I'll show you on these actually that the wire comes out one side so you have to make sure you put that on and that if you know what I mean that feeds where your hole is because that wire is not in the center it's actually mounted to one side so you make sure that side faces that way so we've we've drilled our hole just underneath here so we have to make sure that we put it on it's a bit hard to see like that so this end will go there and then that should just slip through the hole we can show you that later because I want to show you the back where I put the RCA socket on I'll show you underneath that there are the wires there they go through here onto the RCA socket which I've mounted from the inside it gives a nice neat finish Oop, over there now a good thing with this is do this before you assemble the module so when you've got just this piece of timber it's a lot easier to work on rather than trying to fiddle drilling holes through this at this stage so then once you've got the cable in you have to solder it the correct wires as per this diagram and you can find this in the uh, T-Track guidelines which I've got a link to in the video the Australian T-Track guidelines so that gives you all the wiring detail that you need so if you want to make it a bit easier to fit these RCA sockets and if you're going to do a few depending on the size of your layout um, I've actually made a little template here I hope you'll be able to read so what happens is I stick this on the, if I can show you this, it's a little bit tight here. I put this here, I clamp that to that piece. And then I drill two holes there, which will give me those. Then once I've done that, you can drill these out bigger to half inch. That's the, where the RCA connectors come through, the half inch holes. Get all that on screen. And then once you've got that lined up, then you can temporarily put the connector in from the back and mark those two holes from the inside, drill those through and, and mount the RCA socket. Just a couple of tips when you're drilling these holes, you can either use a half inch drill, but what I would do, I would start, once, once you've drilled the small hole first, the pilot hole, then gradually go up in size don't be tempted just to go straight through with that because it'll it won't be pretty but if you can get a force a bit here one of these things these are quite good that's, what they look like. that's a half inch one 
they do a nice neat job but when you're drilling through just make sure on the underside when you drill the hole hang on I'll put this down and show you so if this is your template and this is your actual module side of your module you can do a couple of things with these you can once you've drilled your two holes there you'll have two holes so you can drill that halfway and then come from the other side if I put it on camera it'd be nice you can drill halfway from that side halfway from that side and you won't get any tear out there but if you want to go all the way through with the drill I suggest on the back of your piece you put a sacrificial piece of timber and that'll minimize the tear out you get not that you're going to see that on the inside but yeah so there's a tip for doing that if you can get one of those i highly recommend those rather than a drill it's a nice neat job so now we've got our wires run through we've connected the rca socket to it we've got our inner and our outer so if we look at the wiring diagram up there on the outer track the blue wire goes on the outer one and I forgot to take those things off I told you all about that and I forgot to take them off didn't I so again with this tool you just put it on you slide it down and you push up and they come out same with this side push up and come out I'll do that on these other pieces that I'm going to join in there as well. Wrong way, that way. Keep missing the camera. <laughs> that way. I'll do this one up close where you can actually see. So slip that, goes up, and just push from underneath, and they come off. So now we've got our track we connect the outer blue to the outer remember we've got to make sure that we don't put it that way we put it that way because the wire is coming out there where the hole where we've made the hole so that goes on the outer and then the white inner track oh, didn't line that up That one and then for the inner track the white goes on this on the outer track and then the blue on the inside so do that poke Bring it up a bit, poke that through. Jiggle it through. Connect our other tracks. Move it across. So we've got our half mil hanging over each edge. And you can glue it, screw it, whatever you like. I use these screws, I think they're Got them off eBay. They're about 11 mil long, I think they are. Tiny. And they supply them with a little screwdriver if you don't have one that fits. Got one here somewhere, that one. They supply with a screwdriver to do the job. Now the thing with the what you need to do with the KD Uni track if you're going to screw it down, which is what I do because it's easy to, if you have to redo something, it's easy to get off. Underneath here, you'll see these little posts, and there'll already be a bit of a hole through, and I just drill that all the way through to the top, and then that screw will just go in there and screw down to the track They're long enough to give you. So that's what I do, screw the track down. 
So now basically we've wired our power up to the back RCA sockets as per the Australian T-Track guidelines. Now we need to get that to your controller via DC or DCC. And what I do is I make cables up just using some of this twin wire that you can buy in electronic shops. And I just buy it, one's got a red stripe on it and one doesn't so I can get the two ends the right way around just have to make sure you wire up the middle to the middle on the other end and the outer to the outer. So then this, actually before I do that I'll show you. So this shorter tag here is the center pin there and the longer one is the outer. So that's how you wire those up. Again, just follow the diagram in the T-Track or as I showed you on this thing here, I've got detail of the, might be a bit hard to see, make sure. The white wire on the short tag and the blue on the long. That's for both, both are the same. So then this, you plug the red into the red of course, white into the white. Then the other end, be it whether you have these wires open and you have screw terminals on your controller, just depends what you have. I actually run, well I did run this previously, I now have set up using a computer, but that's, an, that's another video altogether. But this is a standard NEC power cab, comes with this little board, I just put the whole thing in a box to make it neat. I've got a lid that goes over the top, so I can connect my power in there, and basically the track power that supplied here from the power cab i put to there. Now again with the whether you put which polarity you use, like I said before, just depends which way the trains run. And on the back I've just put RCA so I just have the other end of my leads, the white and the red, and I just plug it in like that. So that's all I do. So I think that's about it. I think I've talked about everything I wanted to talk about. Hopefully um, it hasn't gone on too long. So that's how we wire up our T-Track modules for power. Now in other videos we can talk about you know crossovers and all that sort of thing when you want to do different things with the power but for your basic double track loop that's how we wire it up thanks for watching the video and uh, we'll see you again some other time